I'm afraid she is no more. You did not know the strength of your own anger. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 10 best villains in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. If you're a gamer who loves LEGO and Star Wars, check out our fun-filled new channel, Brick Mojo. Nice knowing you. Come have a laugh with us and enjoy daily bite-sized videos on LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. You must enact an ancient ritual. Well, you pick it at real speed, don't you? See you there. We can rule together and bring a new order to the galaxy. Don't do this, Ben. Join me. Now, we aren't basing this list off of who our favorite Star Wars villains are, nor are we talking about the villain's character class. What we are looking at are the villains we feel were best represented, judging by their animations, sound design, and wit. Which villain did you play as the most in Skywalker Saga? Let us know down in the comments, and I will see you there. Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Jabba always looked a little creepy in the older LEGO titles, but that's only because one, older consoles could only show so much detail before they burst into flames, and two, that model was based on his actual LEGO counterpart. The Jabba we get in Skywalker Saga is much better in the worst ways possible. <laughs> Hard before he can see it coming. TT Games managed to perfectly capture his revolting appearance in the movies with his textures and movement, and it is further enhanced by the slimy noises he makes when moving around. And to think Jabba was originally just a shady dude in fancy robes. Anakin Skywalker. Anakin, help me! Mom, no! The way Skywalker Saga portrays Anakin is almost unlike any other. Sure, it makes the same jokes about how big of a man-child Anakin is, but the way the game goes about it is hilarious. From the handful of shots of him holding a teddy bear, to the way the Jedi practically belittle him, this version of Anakin summarizes just about everything you need to know about the character. Hmm. Hmm. Anakin! And one of the best parts about his design is in one of his idle animations where his lightsaber briefly turns red before he tries fixing it back to blue. There are just so many neat touches to his portrayal here. You are the chosen one! I hate you! IG-88 Have you seen a runaway Rancor Keeper? A big gentleman prone to perspiration? He fled during the chaos at Java's palace, and I have been instructed to bring him in. It's a real shame that some of the other bounty hunters didn't get much of a chance to be in the spotlight. Sure, you do get to work directly with Bosk in one of the side missions that unlocks him. However, IG-88 got the best brief moment of stardom. You have forgotten your place. You're coming with me, deserter. In the cleverly titled side mission Green Harvest, which you hardcore fans will really understand what this reference is, the droid bounty hunter asks you to assist him in tracking down one of Jabba's minions, claiming the target is a deserter. Once located, the target gives IG-88 a stunning revelation. Jabba's dead! It's not an action-packed mission, but it's still funny to think about what might have happened to the Hutt's goons after his humiliating defeat and IG-88's reaction to it all is quite amusing. To repay you for your help, I shall offer my assistance in any task you see fit. Mr. Bones. <laughs> Mr. Bones comes from a very obscure corner of the Star Wars lore, though that isn't why we're slapping him on here. Despite his sinister and malicious nature in the comics, Skywalker Saga plays this up in a significantly goofier tone. Ooh, I prefer to take it from my enemies, but it's okay. Whether you're collecting kyber bricks, fighting enemies, or just wandering around aimlessly, Mr. Bones always sounds psychotic in the way he says things in semi-creepy tones. They're basically veiled threats. Just the fact that all of this vile stuff is coming from a B1 battle droid complete with the Roger Roger at the end of every line, was enough to instantly make him one of our favorite characters to play as. What brutal deeds do we have in store today? Darth Maul. 
Much like in the movie, Darth Maul doesn't get a lot of screen time exactly in Skywalker Saga. You can only fit so much into five levels that last only an hour total. Even so, TT Games has made him look even cooler than he did in the movies and the Clone Wars TV show. They also did an excellent job at making his expressions more readable, something that Maul's previous LEGO iterations didn't do super well. You know, all that makeup and everything. Plus, it was just awesome to hear Sam Witwer's voice again. The dude has the perfect voice for a character like Maul. Gonkatine. See, we're including non-movie specific villains. Gonkatine is one of the funniest additions to the Star Wars lore, regardless if he's considered canon or not. You can find this menacing sentient square on Exegol, where he will ask you to help him form his own version of the Knights of Ren, the Knights of Gonk. That stubborn Gonk droid won't do a single thing I ask. Every time I have a job for it, it runs away and hides. To think that something as hapless and slow as a gonk droid could possibly carry out even a misdemeanor is hilarious, and it was such an excellent way to lean into the gonk droid memes known in the LEGO community. Count Dooku. Not every portrayal of a character needs to be over the top, let alone even remotely silly. For Count Dooku, TT Games did the best they could, and their iteration still came out fantastic. Dooku's animations reflect the villain's confidence and intimidating appearance. As for the voice work, Skywalker Saga uses a mix of both Christopher Lee's original portrayal in the movies, and new voice lines from famed voice actor Corey Burton. And surprisingly, the change in voice is almost seamless, so mad props to TT Games audio team. <laughs> General Grievous. Speaking of audio, Matthew Wood reprises his legendary role as General Grievous in Skywalker Saga so there was already plenty of reason to throw him on this list. Grievous honestly looks like he was ripped straight from the movie, and we don't exactly mean that in terms of appearance. All of his animations, idle, walking, running, attacking, they make him look just as menacing as he did in Revenge of the Sith, and TT Games even incorporated some of his attacks from said movie. <laughs> Remember the way he spins the lightsabers in front of him? You can do that. Everything about him is just so flippin' cool, and it's easily one of the best translations TT Games has made. <laughs> Kylo Ren. You don't have to do this. <laughs> Also voiced by Matthew Wood, this iteration of Kylo Ren gets recognition for some of the same reasons why we loved Anakin's portrayal. Much like his grandfather, Kylo Ren behaves very much like a man-child, but with some exaggerated macho-ness. Can you see my surroundings? From the constant muscle flexing to the handfuls of punches about him being shirtless at the weirdest times, Skywalker Saga clearly knows why this character turned out to be a total joke in the movies. At least he's got some cool posters in his room. Heck, I would like some LEGO Star Wars game posters in mine. So that's where you are. Emperor Palpatine. Know the power of the dark side. The power to save Padme. Of course we saved Palpatine for the last bit. Of course he's the best one. Every time Palps was around, we were giggling just because of how stupidly devious he was. TT Games went and made sure that nearly every line for Palpatine was ridiculously sinister, while the rest of the characters were just totally oblivious. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. His intentions and identity were so obvious that it only emphasizes just how dumb everyone was in the movies. Seriously, give one single person all the power, you'll listen to Jar Jar Binks, that's how dumb you are. Anyways, 
Palpatine had the best portrayal of all the villains, and the way he is depicted makes the Episode 9 playthrough way more entertaining than it deserved to be. Let me help you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.